there. There were a lot of people there. But, but, but the word of God pulls out this certain man. I'm getting ready to help you with that. Some of you, amen, have been surrounded by a lot of people. And you've seen them get blessed and you've seen things happen in their life. Change for the better. You've seen good things, bad things, ups, down. Amen. But God is pulling you out. And tonight you become that certain man. You become that certain woman. Come on, talk to me in here. Turn around and look at somebody and say, tonight you are that certain woman. Tonight you are that certain man. Lord, help me, Jesus. And God is getting ready, hallelujah, to recognize your circumstance. The length of the time that you have been there. Certain man there oh, yes. had an infirmity. The time is being pointed out. Say it. 30 and 8 years. Say it again. 30 and 8 years. Now watch this. Some of you not even 38 years old. Then some of you have not been in something for three years. You haven't battled no situation for eight of those 30 years. And already you're squinting, you're squirming. You're crying, you're murmuring, you're complaining, and at that point nobody said amen, did they? Yes. Did y'all notice how quiet it was? It was super quiet just then. Amen. Yes. And this man, the law points out, was there for 38 years. During his 38 year transition of being sick, You've got to understand he has experienced some prolonged disappointments. Yes. Amen. Prolonged disappointments. Not being healed. Repeatedly probably showing up at that pool and never being able to be the one to get in. How disappointed is that? Somebody brought him there. If he couldn't walk, somebody had to bring him there. Then, some, then he had to wait for somebody to get him back to where they brought him from. You understand? Totally dependent. A lot of people is dependent on people. And let me help you with something. When people get a nasty attitude that had been helping you, they just decide, I ain't helping you no more. Now what? Now what? They get an attitude, something pops in their mind and their heart and their spirit, and they start treating you differently. Amen. Does anybody ever experience that? Amen. Amen. And you wonder, what happened to them? You know, you, you know why you feel it so urgently and so strong? Because you laid too much confidence in them instead of God. You trusted too much in them instead of God. Because let me tell you what happens when you, when you put your confidence and your trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding, amen, when you do that, when somebody hurts you and change up on you, it ain't going to kill you. Oh, come on, I should have got an amen right there. You're going to find out, you're going to find out, wait a minute, you mean to tell me they walked away and they acted ugly and they did this? Well, I'm still standing. Yes, because I trust in the Lord and I lean not to my own understanding. Take all that confidence and trust out of people because they will fail you. They will fail you. They start off with a big old fat bang and I can't stand when they do that. And all of a sudden somewhere down the line their bang doesn't bang anymore. She bangs, he bangs, they don't bang no more after a little while. Lift your hands to the Lord. 